All right, this is the intro. You, you see what's on the screen. I'm pressing some keyboard shortcut. An application pops up and it launches and you have different ways of doing it. It's pretty fancy. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Anyways, the first thing you need to do is go to the first link in the description and you will see this DeviantArt page. You need to log in. Yeah, I know, it sucks. But once you log in, click on the big download button and we're downloading Key Launch 1.0. Now, once you download that Key Launch, all you need to do is go to the second link in the description and you will see Rain Meter. Just click on the big blue download button right there and it should download Rain Meter. You want to open up the Rain Meter EXE, click OK, click Standard Installation, click Install, press Yes. It's pretty straightforward. Finish it. Then once you finish it, ooh, I almost tried to download it again there. You'll see a whole bunch of stuff pop up on your desktop. You just want to right click on it, then click unload skin and do that for each one. We're doing that so we don't have to see them. It's that straightforward. Then after you do that, you want to go to your file explorer. Then you want to go to your downloads and you want to double click to install the key launch software rain meter skin thing. So just double click on it, click install. It's going to do some fancy dancy stuff. Then it's going to say key launch, blah, blah, blah. Just click on Jax core three. This is like the little special software that does everything for you. Anyways, it'll pop up with this thing here, which is cool. And then, then you'll see this welcome screen. It's that straightforward. If it disappears for some weird reason, just double click on the key launch thing again and it'll pop up for sure. Now once you do that, click nice. And then you have to click sure. Then when you click sure, it will say add a shortcut. And this is where you can add a shortcut to this kind of like home page thing. You can add it to your program list or a desktop folder. I'm gonna add it to my desktop folder real quick. You'll notice that nothing will probably happen and that's because I have my desktop icons hidden. But when I uncheck it, you'll see I have this hashtag core home, which is good. And then you it'll say add shortcut for easy access. We've already done that. Just click maybe later. And this is all up to you. But basically, you got some things and stuff. Just just click nice. Just keep burning through this thing very quick. You can join their server. You can watch them on DeviantArt, all this other stuff. Click maybe later. Yada, yada, yada. Who cares? We're done with it. Oh, I have two of them going at the same time. This is a disaster. Anyways, once you actually do it, you'll see key launch released and all this other stuff. This is basically kind of like the uh, the app store for this guy's specific work. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on key launch. Anyways, once you click on key launch, you can drag this into the center of your screen and just kind of make it a little bit bigger so you can actually read it because I actually could not read it from this distance. Okay, so what you need to do is we need to go into general and we actually need to set up a keyboard shortcut. So in this case, I want to actually open up Spotify. So I'm going to click on this little green righty thing then i'm going to click on quick start and i need to navigate to where a spotify shortcut or exe is in this case i have spotify on my desktop the issue with this though is that if i delete the spotify shortcut on my desktop this probably won't work so the best thing to do is actually just right click on a shortcut open file location then you will see spotify.exe click open click confirm now once you have spotify selected we need to create a shortcut for Spotify. So in this case, I want to do maybe Control Shift S or Alt Shift S or Windows Shift S. I have a lot of options, but there's something you need to keep in mind. If I do Windows Shift S, I do it right now, you'll notice that I actually go into Windows Screenshot Manager thing. That is going to interfere with your shortcut. So you need to make sure that basically whatever you choose isn't an actual shortcut in Windows or whatever. For example, if I open up Chrome and press Control Shift S, I believe it's going to save the web page. So I'm going to leave my shortcut as Alt Shift S. So I need to click on Edit. Then I need to press Alt Shift and then press the S key on my keyboard and you'll see Alt Shift S. I'm going to click Confirm. And that's how you set up a shortcut just for Spotify. Now you can do this for all your other applications. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You do it yourself, sweetheart. I know you're big enough to do it. So next up, I want to go to the layout tab just because it makes sense for the video, but you can do it however order you want, sweetheart. Go to the layout tab and then activate your skin. Then you have a whole bunch of animation options. You have enlarge, you have uh, tray notification, skewed, and spin. And as you notice, there's this weird text, which I find is really hard to read. And I'll show you an example of it. So I'm going to click on spin. I'm going to press Alt Shift S. You'll notice that this pops up. It says Spotify and it launches Spotify. Looks cool. You have a whole bunch of different options. So I'm going to do that again. I pressed the wrong keyboard shortcut. I'm sorry. Please do not get mad. Then we have tray notifications. So we have a whole bunch of different options. There we go. Holy goodness. You can't spam it all the time, which is a good thing. But anyways, you'll notice that you have a whole bunch of options. But that font, in my opinion, 
is pretty dang ugly. So you need to go to appearance, then you have text font here. For the font, I'm going to change it to something that I have installed on my computer. So I'm gonna click on the start menu, type in font, then press enter, it'll open up font, and you have a whole bunch of options you can search through. I'm just going to do something very basic. I'm going to do Arial just because it's the first one and I know how to spell it. So A-I-A-R-I-A-L, I think. Just make sure you spell it correctly. That's the main thing you gotta keep in mind. So A-R-I-A-L, press enter. Then if you press Alt-Shift-S to open up Spotify, you will get Spotify in the Arial font. Now, just to show you, I'm not pulling your leg. I'm gonna select a font that has English letters. Trust me, I tried using using that font and it didn't work. So I'm gonna do something like impact. So impact, press enter, then alt shift S and you'll notice that the font is now very bold. I prefer Arial just cause it actually looks really modern and it looks nice. Anyways, we have that option. We have text glow sigma value, which uh, it's just how much the text glows. So if you want it to glow more, just set it to a higher number. If you want it to glow less, then set it to a lower number. Pretty straightforward. Then you have animation configuration, you have a duration, you have a text size modifier. In this case, I want it to be a little bit smaller, so I'm just gonna have it at one, Alt-Shift-S. There we go, it's pretty small. And finally, once again, since we have everything configured with the text, you can go back to layout and you can test out you know, different things like the tray notification. Probably looks a whole lot better now that we have a, a traditional font. Same thing with skewed. If I open it up, you'll notice it looks a lot better than the weird kind of spin uh, the paint font thing. But anyways, you have a ton of options and it opens up Spotify as you can see. So that's how you configure it. I know it's a little bit of a a little bit of a mess that I, I I don't know how to record a video anymore. But anyways, that's how you use it. Now, how do we uninstall it? Well, really easy peasy. All you need to do is just close this thing, then close this thing, and trust me, click on the Windows button, type in add or remove programs and press enter. Then you just need to type in rain meter, click on rain meter, click on install, click on install, press yes. Then you could just click on install, but if you want to remove the whole thing, then click completely remove all personal settings and files, and this will wipe your rain meter folder so you don't have it on your computer anymore. I'm going to do that. I'm going to click on install. Whoop, 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 whoop. Done, click close, and there you go. Now, if you press the shortcut hotkey real quick, so Alt Shift S, you'll notice that auto hotkey will pop up saying, oh, there's a big issue. All you need to do, sweetheart, is just restart your computer. And guess what? When you come back, it'll be gone. You won't have to worry about it anymore. You won't have that weird little error and stuff. Anyways, I restarted my computer. I'm going to press Alt Shift S and you'll notice that nothing happens. No matter how hard I press the keyboard or how fast I press it. That doesn't really affect anything, but I'm still trying to do it nevertheless. And uh, yeah, so it, it's totally uninstalled. You don't have to worry about it anymore. It's all done. It's all disappearing. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Uh, uh, I love you. Mwah.